Severinsen. This is Ed McMahon along with Doc Severinsen and the NBC Orchestra inviting you to join Johnny and his guests, Harvey Corbin, magician Michael Amor, and civilian pianist David Tully. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here's Johnny. Do you like sleight of hand close-up magic? Yeah. All right. We have a gentleman tonight who is a world-class prestidigitator or necromancer. Great sleight of hand artist. His name is Michael Amar. Michael is with us tonight. And I'll tell you about uh, our first guest a little later in the show. His name is David Tolley. And uh, I'll tell you about David. So stay where you are. We'll be right back. Okay, my next guest I think you'll enjoy very much. Michael uh, Amar is a multi-award winning magician who's one of the many people participating in the annual It's Magic Show at the Variety Arts Theater in downtown Los Angeles now through February. He specializes in close-up magic, and he's got a magic video out, instructional for kids who want to learn how to do magic. Would you welcome Michael Amar? Michael! It's a pleasure to be here, Johnny. Thank you, Michael. It's a pleasure to be here. Let's see. Uh, I thought I'd start by proving that scientists aren't all right. They said we can't see Halley's Comet anymore. Right. So I thought I would recreate Halley's Comet right here. All I'll do is light the lighter, and a ball of fire will shoot up and go out over your head. Okay. <laughs> yeah, th this will kill you. Oh, sure. <laughs> do something like this. Get it? See? Ball, fire. Ball of fire. <laughs> Makes sense to me. Of course, I could put it here and it disappears and comes out here, but my favorite thing to do is to just blow like this. And it disappears. Yeah, oh, it's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> if I wanted it to disappear, it'd be as simple as that, then the ball disappears. That's, that's See? No. Of course, we no longer need the lighter, so I snap and it disappears and uh -huh. go on from there. Here but we go again. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking <laughs> that's fine for the kids. But can he show us something? Uh, Educational, mm -hmm. entertaining. Okay, That's what I was thinking. I was, <laughs> I was thinking you'd be thinking that. And this is the uh, educational part of this. Do you have a bill? If you've got a bill, I'll show you something that uh, doesn't matter the value. It's a dollar, all right. <laughs> Obviously, you trust me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now here's the educational part. You see, every bill has uh, silk fibers woven into the paper. If you see tiny hairs in the paper, that's silk fibers to make them difficult to counterfeit. Right. Okay. Now, if I were to take those silk fibers and rub them onto some wool like this, mm -hmm. puts a static electric charge onto the silk fibers of the bill. Right. Okay. Now, equally as insignificant <laughs> is the fact that if I crumble just like this, now the static electric charge is trapped inside of the bill. Okay. Now, a little static on my hand, there'll be static on the bill, there'll be static on my hand. In theory, the two should attract. It would look something like this. Did you see it move? Yeah, it's starting to... Yeah, that's it. <laughs> no, uh, no, actually, that is it. Uh, but if I put more static, it works a little better. See? Yeah. Yeah, now he's good. <laughs> but people see that, they think there's something on the bill that would cause it to happen. And, no, that's just... Or they think that maybe there's something on my hands that would cause it to take place. There's nothing on my hands. I'll do it again. I'll put a little more static on it this time. Okay, just like this. Put a little static on the bill. Crumble, it's trapped inside. Put a little static on my hand. Mm -hmm. Just like this. I do this for myself at home sometimes. <laughs> I just laugh. <laughs> I 
<laughs> rub, rub your hand on your leg. Yeah. Oh, you work. <laughs> <laughs> I like it too. Yeah. <laughs> because if it's just right, it could float right back to you, just like this. Here's yeah. him. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're probably thinking that maybe uh, that's not sleight of handish. That's more like magic. So I will do something that's uh, more geared towards sleight of hand. Uh, first, I want to take this off mm -hmm. because I want you to know exactly what I'm talking about when I say watch All right. here in just a minute. <laughs> and I'm going to give the cards a quick shuffle. Okay? Any card? Yes, Wait, sir. let me shuffle them first again. Okay, any card. Wait, uh, it's my memory. <laughs> I keep forgetting to take them out of the box. <laughs> okay, this will be a lot easier. So much easier that way. <laughs> Okay, now, I don't want you to think I'm going to influence any particular card. I'll go sure. through like this. Uh, you'll have the opportunity to change your mind. Mm -hmm. Touch any one. Oh. This one? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, would you like to change your mind? No, that's good enough. Oh, you're happy with the mind you have. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, that's, a that's, a <laughs> that's an ace. If I shake, ace another ace comes out just like this. If I remember, there's an ace 26 cards down. So I think it's the ace of hearts. Uh, yeah, good, the ace of hearts. The ace of spades, I'll just touch for count number three. That's one, two, three. That's all four aces. That's nice. But... Okay, here's what we're going to do. I've got a stopwatch because my job is to now do something uh, unusual with this. Mm -hmm. So what I'd like you to do is hang on to the stopwatch. Right. I'll take these four aces and place them into four different parts of the deck. Right. Then I'll shuffle the cards five times, face up and to face down. Then I'll find those same four aces again, but I'll do the entire process. That includes inserting the aces, shuffling the cards, and then locating them again in exactly 30 seconds. Well, that's impossible. So what I want you to do is, once you say go, I need you to count down for me. Say 5, okay. 10, 15, sure. 20. And then be prepared to stop should I stop you early. Are you ready? All right. Anytime. You want to start the watch? Please. It's the Ace of Clubs, the Ace of Hearts, the Ace of Spades, and the Ace of Diamonds. You trying to give me a count down? Five seconds. I'll take half the cards and shuffle them face up into face you down. Now I have 10 seconds. Okay, I'll take the half, shuffle them over, face up to face down. I can even take some out from the very center, seconds. turn them all over, and shuffle face up. In the face down. Coming up on 20 seconds. Guess I better shut up. <laughs> Shuffle. Coming up on 25 there. Stop. All right. How much time had passed? 26 and a half seconds. We'll call it, oh, say 26. <laughs> let's, call it, let's call it 27. 27, good. Now, I stopped because you were watching the watch, and I wanted to catch you up with what everybody else was watching. Yeah. Uh, I won't push them all the way flush. I'll just hold them here and show you that the cards... We're being shuffled face up and the face down. Right. That's important. And if you look from the side, all the cards are involved in the shuffle. All interwoven. But I said that the entire process depended on me doing it in exactly 30 seconds. So I'll count down the last one starting at 27. All right. So 27, 28, 29 to 30. It's all four aces. Oh. <laughs> okay. okay. One more in here. Oh, we got time here? One minute. Okay. So let me show you quickly that now all the cars are facing the same way. I did find the only four aces in that same one half of one minute. I also found the royal flushing clubs. Ten, jack, queen, king, ace, royal flushing spades, royal what? flushing arts, and royal flushing balance. Yeah. Charles Ford, perfect. 